time, babe. Good morning. Today I'm getting ready. I washed my face, brushed my teeth, and then now I'm just gonna do some skincare. So since we have a virtual grad this year, um, there's no like actual ceremony, so there's no chance to wear like the cap and gown and stuff. And so Ryan and I we rented them from a company in within Canada and then they ship it over to you and we just decided to go take pictures today so this vlog will be a bit more exciting um, and because I'm finally going out for once I like officially love this sunscreen it's just so easy to apply on and the finishing is just so nice and I don't know how tinted it is but it just looks I'm pretty sure it's like super sheer but when you first put it on the way that it matches my skin tone is just so good, I don't know. Every time you see my hair curled, it's with this. This is the new me classic wand, and I've been using it since like high school, so it's super old. And but like but for some reason, I can just never like the amount of time it takes me to curl my hair using a straightener is like super super long, and so I've always just used this instead. get how people can look so cute with these clips on but kind of have them on to get my hair out of the way I don't know if you guys can tell but for some reason it just turned really cloudy but I'm gonna get ready now with these products that I'm gonna try out this is not a sponsored video but they did gift me these products for me to try out and I'm always like down to try out minimal makeup and that's what their company is known for and so i'm very excited to try this out um, i got to pick out everything that they gave me and so hopefully it matches my skin tone and everything i think the good thing about like using minimal makeup is that it kind of doesn't really matter what brand or what product you use i guess like in my case i feel like regardless of what brand i tend to grab like the same few shades the same items and so it's like nothing super fancy which is what i like about minimal brands because you can always just use them with other products and then they will always just end up going really well together and so i'm gonna try out all these products from merit so the first one i'm gonna try out is the minimal like complexion stick i think that's what it's called this is the minimalist perfecting complexion stick and i got this one in the shade bisque i was either choosing this one or one that's a little bit more yellow toned but i reached for just the neutral one just because i feel like i'm more yellow like warm toned when i'm tanned but when i'm not i'm kind of like just like neutral so i just chose this one, maybe it will have a more brightening effect. Oh, I feel like it's a pretty good match. I feel like if I got more tan though, this might not work. I feel like this lighting is changing on me, but we're gonna blend this in with the Real Technique brush. <laughs> I don't really know that much about makeup, but we're just gonna brush this in. Ooh, it's really light. Eight. I feel like with some blush this will look a bit better but it just looks so like dead right now so we're just gonna add some color I'm gonna use their lip gloss lipstick this is a tinted lip oil and I got it in the shade O Naturel I think it should be a pretty good match to my natural lip so we're just gonna get this Ooh. I look so bad when I put on lipstick. I don't know how people can put it on and look so cute while doing it. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of lip products. Like, I don't know. I just, it's very hard for me to like lip products, but I think this is pretty good. And I think, especially after I put on the blush, which is what I'm gonna do now, it might look a bit better. My face just looks so like washed out right now. I think that's why. 
and maybe my neck here just looks really dark but it's really like light here i don't i don't know but we're gonna do this blush and i really don't want to touch it because it's just so perfectly round but we're just gonna dab it a little bit and i love that all these products you just use with your hand and this is the blush it's really it's kind of like an oily consistency but i think it being like that makes it really easy to spread and it kind of looks shiny right now but that's okay i have my powder which i'm gonna use on this afterwards so i think this actually makes it look pretty cute pretty good okay now i feel like the lighting's a bit better um but we're gonna go in with the eye makeup now and brow because since we already use all the face products um they're pretty good so far i think this is actually a pretty cute glowy look so we use the complexion stick what is this Ooh, this is like the highlight highlighter thingy my face is already pretty highlighted so maybe we'll just try a little bit on like the nose i know people do like highlighter last but can you guys see anything Ooh, this is really nice this is in the shade bounce they had two highlighter shades and i chose this one on Ooh. that just reminded me of like everyone saying sheesh nowadays and it's like it doesn't bother me but it bothers me when people overuse it and it's just out of context anyways moving on to eye makeup now this is the brown um eyebrow pomade and then this one is the eyelash yeah the perfect black mascara we're gonna use mascara first i'm using my own curler i'm actually not too picky for mascaras as long as it's like waterproof and like stays in place and doesn't smudge my eye it's because especially for asian lashes i think like water you need waterproof mascara to just hold everything up and especially like my lashes are very like they're like the stubborn like straight kind so it doesn't really like stay still um so i really need a good one to just hold everything up i think my first impressions with this is that it's very like wet if that makes sense like i don't know it sounds weird but um i feel like it's making everything just droop down because it's it doesn't dry like super quickly and so i think once it dries the lashes are already <laughs> fallen down but that's okay um, i might go in later and fix it up with like my own mascara but now we're gonna try out the brow pomade and this is in brown i'm scared i've never used colored brow products because i always use clear gels but we're just gonna see if this works maybe i'll just put a little bit i think that's really nice what the heck i think it looks pretty good i don't know what do you guys think i'm very not picky with my brows because i feel like honestly nobody's watching um but yeah i think this is all the products i am gonna go and kind of like mattify my face i'll be right back so to mattify my face i always use this product this is the innisfree no sebum moisture powder and i really like this i've been using it for so long um just because it's it's like mattifying but not to the extent where it doesn't let your natural oils come through if that makes sense and so i just get a little bit on this little pad and i'm just gonna pat that in especially i think this area for some reason i don't like it when this triangle is like super super i guess highlighted or oily and also the forehead also of course the chin area but yeah i think especially for photos it's okay to kind of go a bit heavier handed um that's just my personal experience but this is kind of the look it's very minimal natural so i actually change of plans but we're gonna meet ryan at ubc and my parents are also gonna come along and help us take some photos and i'm very excited this is gonna be so fun we're gonna be doing our own little photo shoot um with the tripod as well just to kind of create a memory out of this experience
one day we're gonna live here, baby. Are we? Yeah. Something. So she did sec kind of funny. What I, uh, what I something. So it's like laugh something. Did I not ask? Did I ask for no cutlery? If not, we'll just drive home. Okay. Can we eat everything with these little shovels? Yes. Jump up the chair. Yeah, she can.